History 3 UA3, History of the Future, is of course geared towards getting students to imagine how past societies thought about their future. And what better way to do that this year than to think about an augmented reality project, which is very likely a part of our, our ongoing or uh, imminent future. So students were, were challenged to put together histories of buildings on the McMaster campus to look at sort of the history of uh, McMaster's infrastructure over time. And the idea was that rather than putting together a standard essay, they would have to develop an augmented reality Story, uh, some kind of digital storytelling, some kind of storytelling that wasn't on paper. And what I really liked about this assignment was one, it engaged with technologies that we are going to have to be thinking about uh, in more detail and in more, with more care in the future. But in addition to that, the students went into the archives. They did traditional archival research and uncovered all kinds of really exciting gems about uh, McMaster's history and, 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 the, and the history of this, this campus. Uh, one of the joys for anyone who's actually done any archival research, they know that it's less what you actually find related related to your topic that matters, but all those little sort of little bits and pieces that are completely unrelated, but just they, they become sort of these trivial little bits of fun. And so it was exciting seeing the students, A, having fun doing that, but also then doing some real uh, uh, archival research on the one hand, and also, and the other part of historical research is failing, just discovering that the, the archives didn't yield what they wanted to, and they had to sort of engage in a kind of uh, problem solving to, uh, to, to complete their story, to, to do the kind of detective work necessary to, to uncover a history of whatever building they were looking at. So we now have a, uh, a, a walkable tour of McMaster's campus and going back in time looking at the history of 14 different buildings on campus.